us the stories of our land. We're gonna drop in on a neighbor and visit with a friend. We're on the move and on the go, we're on the road again. Hello again, everyone. Tonight, a toast to the Newfoundland blueberry. That is red. That's not, I thought it would be blue somehow. Searching for superstars, North America's oldest hockey scout still on the job in Saskatchewan. Gee, I, I, I sure like that kid. We're on the move, we're on the go, we're on the road again. Hockey glory. It involves a man who absolutely loves the game. He's devoted most of his life to hockey. Now, he never made it to the NHL, but he has helped many others get there. And though he is well in his 90s now, he still spends many winter evenings in cold, drafty arenas on the lookout for the next hockey superstar. It's hockey night in Saskatchewan. A Junior B playoff between the hometown Kinistino Tigers and the famous Hounds from Notre Dame College in Wilcox. In small town Saskatchewan, hockey is more than just a game. It's the lifeblood of the whole community. And for the boys on the ice, it's the dream of becoming the next Saskatchewan superstar, the next Gordy Howe, or Wendell Clark, or Johnny Bauer. If there's one person in this crowd who understands what hockey dreams are made of, it's this man. His name is George Longman, and he's the oldest professional hockey scout in the world. Most of George Longman's contemporaries have long been relegated to the history books. But in his 97th year, George is still very much part of the game. All winter long, he scouts future hockey legends for one of the top junior teams in Canada. This is Pinocchio, Alberta, where the Longman family settled in 1914. It was here George discovered he had a natural talent for hockey. I was about 17 years old, I guess, before I started playing hockey. I think what kept me on the team, I could skate. No shoulder pads. I wore it a little short chin pads, but nobody protects them at all. In the winter of 1924-25, George and his Pinocchio teammates fought their way to the Alberta Intermediate Finals against Medicine Hat. We told them we'd go down there and play a sudden death game if they'd give us $500. We wouldn't go on the ice till we had that $500. <laughs> so we got it. And... Uh, they told us they had a good team, but we beat them, so we do them. <laughs> but after that big championship season, the handsome young winger hung up his skates. <laughs> For the next four decades, George worked in the garage business in Alberta, then in Saskatchewan. It wasn't until he retired in 1967 that he returned to his first love, hockey. He began managing the Canistano Bruins and also started scouting for New Westminster of the Western Junior Hockey League. In recent years, a bad knee has made walking difficult, but it hasn't slowed him down one bit. These days, he beats the bushes for the Regina Pats of the Western Hockey League. Seventy or eighty times a year, he braves drafty arenas looking for talent. It's a search he never tires of. I really think it keeps me going. As soon as you get out and meet people, I feel different. But a hockey scout's work doesn't end with the final buzzer. After every game, there are scouting reports to update, and it's more than just counting goals and assists. Checking and shooting and teamwork and everything. You grade them from four, five, and six. Six is a top notcher. Over the years, George has filed reports like these on such current top-notch NHL players as Mike Vernon, Dave Manson, and James Patrick. And he's convinced that the next bright star on the horizon is a young center, six-foot-one Jeff Friesen, a player he discovered in Melford a few years ago. Gee, I, I sure like that kid. That's Jeff Friesen. 
Jeff Friesen is the man. At the NHL draft last June, George Longman's discovery was the first round pick of the San Jose Sharks. He, he just came ahead so quick, you know. More points than anybody else, more scores and more assists. For player and scout alike, the dream doesn't get much better than this. Unless, of course, it's celebrating your 97th birthday with a few close friends in your own hometown. Happy birthday, dear Joe. Happy birthday to you. He's Canistino's Mr. Hockey. George Longman, who has managed, coached, and scouted for hockey teams since the late 60s, turned 100 Tuesday. And although finally slowed by age, Longman was still scouting for the Regina Pats up until two years ago, all for a sport which has become his fountain of youth. Well, he said that's, that's what kept him going. That's what kept, kept him alive and was able to reach this ripe old age of 100 was the, the ability to be involved in something. And uh, he most certainly was. Longman's hockey history dates back to 1925 when he helped clinch the Alberta Intermediate Championship with Pinoca. Longman didn't have much to do with hockey until 1967 when he started managing the Canistino Tigers. From there he lent his hockey knowledge to scouting, working for a number of teams but ending up with the Regina Pats. In his time, Longman has helped discover talent ranging from this year's Stanley Cup Conn Smythe winner Mike Vernon to his last great find, the San Jose Sharks' Jeff Friesen. He saw certain things in some of the top NHL stars that stood out and uh, I guess he looked for those things in the up-and-coming players and, and I, I guess it worked. <laughs> Into his late 80s, Longman could be found making road trips out west with junior clubs but still managed to offer a little guidance to his hometown team. We asked a lot of uh, advice to what players he thought we could play and yeah, it's just it's a hockey knowledge and uh, we take a lot of advice from him. Longman doesn't say too much anymore as his 100 years have finally taken a toll on his voice. But with his son speaking for him, there's not much chance George would have lived his life any different. No, oh, I'm sure he wouldn't. <laughs> I think he'd do everything the same. Trevor Doshanko, BBS News, Kinestino.